Welcome friends. Uh, today in this video tutorial we will check it. Uh, in the Rainduck POS billing software, how we can add products. There is two way to add the products in this Rainduck POS billing software. One is one by one product adding. In the top you can see there is one button is called products. Here you can fill the product as you wish and you can add the products. And another option is called Excel bulk uploading. Here in the products we can go to the products. Here you can do the Excel sheet bulk uploading as well. So the both option we will check it today. How we can add the product very simply into this Rendac POS billing software. For that first of all we will go for one by one product adding. Here you can check the products. Here you can add one products like uh, jeans, J E N S C jeans, uh, black, king. Uh, this uh, any brand, what what other things you can mention here, like uh, Puma. I mentioned here Puma, Puma jeans. I mentioned here, and in the uh, category or subcategory, you can see over here. You can create your category as well. Uh, from here, uh, um, in the drop down menu, you can uh, see all the existing. Uh, um, categories as well. If you want to create one category, you can create here. Here I, put, I am putting Puma. One category I am creating here. Save. Successfully saved. Close. And in the subcategory also you can add a plus button. You can click on plus button. And here I am uh, putting jeans. Jeans Puma. Puma I added here. And here also I am putting uh, Puma. And I am saving here. Saved, close. Uh, here in the HSN code you can put any number or if you have any specific uh, specified number you can mention over here there is no issues. And the purchase rate you can mention over here for example you are purchasing this product uh, like 1300 rupees from your uh, manufacturer or your supplier and this, you are selling this product for example uh, 2000 rupees. This is your sale price. And here a reorder point is there I am putting 5 pieces in the reorder point. I will tell you what is the order point. For example, opening stock, I am putting this 100 piece. The same pattern, I have 100 piece stock. I am putting here 100 piece. And the, when I am selling one by one, one by one, then when the stock reaches to 5 pieces, the, stock, uh, the software will give the alert that this particular product is going to finish. The stock is going to finish. And in the right side, you can see here, there is some uh, discount options are there, some fixed discounts. You can mention that fixed discount as well. If it is not there, you can leave it as it is. And the GST, for example, this uh, above 1000 rupees garments items, 12% uh, GST. So you, you can mention here 6 plus 6. CGST 6, SGST 6. Like that you have to mention over here. And the CES uh, is there, you can mention this CES also. This is state government uh, tax actually. This is also you can mention here. And there is a barcode computer is automatically generating 0017. This is a barcode uh, computer the software is generated for this particular product. But if some uh, branded products like Puma like branded products they have all it's already have existing barcodes and the price as well. We can uh, remove this barcode and we can uh, just to scan the new barcode uh, I mean, like uh, if it in, the, in the product if there is a barcode you can just scan it. So automatically that particular barcode will come over here, display over here and we can just uh, save it. And before saving we need to change the unit also, here it is in gram right now, you can, there is a drop down menu is there, uh, you can make it pieces also, PIC piece or you can add the unit as well from here itself also. And like that you can just simply go and save it. Save it and in the stock also I will I uh, will go to the stock right now. Stock, stock and report. Here you can see uh, jeans Puma there is a hundred pieces stock is there. You can see over here and uh, as well as uh, there is one uh, another detailed reports will come over here. Uh, like uh, stock, stock in. St show all stock. Here also you can see that particular product. Jeans Puma you can see over here this is the one and uh, there is one more big advantage is there in uh, Rainduck POS billing software in the top you can see what is your overall purchase any total purchase what is your overall sale this information you will get from Rainduck POS billing software in the current stock what is the current stock what is the purchase price what is the current stock what is the sale price 
So you will get a um, clear idea of um, how much amount um, products uh, products value is there. What is the products value in your shop? You can clearly look from the software itself. And the second option we are going to check how we can import the products from Excel sheet. This is another option. Uh, in that, in that, for that, in the top, uh, you can see import, export, Excel. Here, there is a products are there. You can click on the products. Here, all the products it will come over here. You can see there is a lot of products are there. Here, you just click on import, ex uh, sorry, export. Click on export button. So automatically, whatever the products is available there, it will start export to Excel. Just click on that button and just to close this. In the bottom side, you can see there is one Excel sheet is blinking. Just open that. All the products is there already. This much all informations are there already. Then and now we need to upload our uh, lot of products. For example, we have 3,400, 4,000 products are there. We need to upload it. So in that case, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to remove this all and we need to upload our new products. We have, I have already done that ex uh, exercise here. I will show you this one. Uh, here in the same uh, way of format, I just open this one. Here I added so many products in this Excel sheet. You can see over here, there is first uh, there is a product name. You can see over here, I am zooming it. Product name is there, uh, subcategory is there, HSM code is there. So product name, whatever the product's name, you can just fill it over there. And uh, uh, I am requesting you, please do not add like that like that for example insert don't insert any kind of column or rows because um, it will um, uh, problem for the software um, you know, uh, configuration so just add the product um, put put all your products information in the first uh, column and here the subcategory is there a subcategory how we can put this number i will show you in the software uh, there is a master entry you can see in the master entry, there is a uh, subcategory now you can see. In the subcategory, there is a numbers there in the right side. You can see over here, these numbers in the right side. These numbers, uh, for example, number 11, this one. Uh, I put this, uh, this one subcategory. Okay, you can change the subcategory ID also. From here, you can choose the ID. Uh, in the Excel sheet, I put a subcategory ID over like that. And HSM code, it is a, um, a tax code actually. Uh, you can uh, get from government website also for your products, what are the taxes going on. And is there a part number, is there, you can mention the part number. Uh, description you can mention over here. Purchase rate you can mention, for example, which price, uh, in on what price you have purchased from your supplier. And there is sales right also, on what price you are going to sell for your customers. This is the right also is there. And any fixed discount is there you can mention here. If there is no discount, at least put zero. At least put zero like that. Don't make uh, the column empty. All the things should be filled properly. And the CGST, SGST also, if uh, you are under a um, uh, government um, uh, plan, like uh, there is a plan called, uh, um, um, like what we call this, there is a plan. Composition, uh, composition plan. Government, there is a plan is ca called composition. If you are in a composition plan, you have to. You don't want to mention the GST uh, details, so you can mention to zero zero. Here also, here also zero zero. All you can mention to zero. Okay. In such also, you can mention zero if there is no GST. If you have GST for that particular product, you can mention here. But for example, here you can see the one example. Here I put six six. This is twelve percent GST. So, 6% is CGST, 6% uh, is SDST. This is the way we need to mention in our uh, billing software. And here you can see the reorder point. The reorder point means this is the minimum stock maintaining system, as I told you before. And the opening stock you can mention here directly, that, so that it will go directly to the, your inventory. And here you can see the barcodes. This uh, barcode you can uh, put like that 1001, 1002. Uh, like that you can mention here uh, 1 0 0, 0, 0 2. Uh, here you can drag it down also like that you can select two items and you can drag it down this is the way also you can upload your uh, barcodes 
and this is the uh, unit uh, option you can see over here in the, in the right side units uh, the unit is very important uh, because uh, this unit this unit is very important because this uh, unit should be there in the software for that we need to ensure the unit actually here you can go to the unit and uh, here you can see there is uh, a picture already unit is there if there is no unit you can create a new unit over here and it's the same spelling you need to copy from here close it same spelling and paste it here and you can select that same spelling uh, in all the all the areas because when we are uploading the products uh, the unit should be there in the uh, uh, excel sheet it should match with our software so all this this is the way you can uh, fill the products there is one mistake normally people what we will do i will share that details also for example we are putting some um, kurta uh, sari like that and here you putting uh, some other information like that uh, it is not fully filled I and mean, just simply filling like that this is this software will not accept it the software will, will give the error whatever you are filling you have to finish it properly so that you can uh, select like that and delete it so it will be filled properly you know this is the way we need to fill it and all the um, uh, columns should be filled properly there is some uh, few information only that should be properly filled then only the software will accept your excel sheet bulk uploading there, because the, there is some thousands of products you can upload uh, in, uh, through the system that's the reason we should uh, give the proper information to the software after that we just save it in the save button you can uh, click here on the top and just uh, close it this is the file uh, book 01 this is the file actually uh, we are going to import this file before that we will check the stock actually here you can go to the stock stock report here there is some few products are there right now you can see here there are some uh, only few products are there here in uh, the records also here in the stock also stock in also uh, show all stock same stock there is some 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 13 products are there that's it so we are importing the products now going to products import select that excel sheet this is the one open see all the products is coming here directly you can drag it down and check it see uh, when you are drag it down this number should be correctly 207 is there and should, there should be a product and only number will not come down if the only number is coming down that means your excel sheet is not correctly filled uh, if the last number you can see the 205 206 207 um, and there is a product is there all uh, clearly it is filled and if there is only numbers it is going down that means your excel sheet there is some problem is there so after this uh, uploading uh, you can save it in the, there is a save button you can see the save button click on save button i just click on save button only one time no need to click uh, two three times if you click two three times the software will uh, give you you know overloaded So we'll, uh, we need to wait uh, just uh, 10 to 12 seconds so that the software will update all the information from your product uh, category, subcategory, price, everything it will go to the their software, there is the number of forms are there, it will clearly will uh, reach that forms and it will update it properly. See this particular product is successfully saved. You can click on save button. Okay. And just close it. Now you go to the stock. Stock in report. See all your products are here. Even if you go to the stock report here in the top. Detailed report. Uh, click on show, show all products. Here see the amount also is changed over here. What is the value of your store. And see all the products is listed over here. And whenever you are going to POS sale, you can see all the products is here in the POS. All products which will come, you can click through barcode as well. And if you go to the barcode, uh, bar uh, you can see all the products is there in the barcode also. You can click uh, generate any one of the barcode as you wish.
or number of different barcode also you can create for that particular product. This is the way we need to upload the products uh, to Rinduck POS billing software. It is so simple to upload the product. We can uh, learn like that. Thank you for so much for watching this video. Please watch our next video also, tutorial video, so that you will uh, get clear idea how to handle Rinduck POS billing software. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.